G'day everybody and welcome back to Dinkum on episode 180, I believe. The previous episode was pretty interesting. We uh, dropped bombs, literally. <laughs> um, in fact, we dropped the bombs that we managed to, uh, I guess, commission from Franklin and we managed to get rid of a lot of those pesky underwater rocks that have been getting in the way for the last few days. Uh, and in addition to that, I think the other highlight was just, you know, grabbing all of those diggos for the Animal Research Center. So we've got a whole bunch of stuff here, a whole bunch of rewards to pick up. So we'll, uh, we'll see if we can gather all of that this morning. Uh, we've also commissioned some more bombs from Franklin. So we'll put that in our pockets just in case we have a few more of those uh, rocks that we have to get rid of. And uh, yeah, aside from that, let's just collect all of our rewards here from the Animal Research Center. So yeah, I think uh, we had like a double reward or something like that for certain diggos. So, a bit of money to play with this morning. And something from John here, so... Your house looks pretty nice, but don't you think it'll, le it'll look uh, even nicer with some basic pink rug? I'll sure be uh, sure to peep through your windows to make sure you put it up. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna sell this back to you, mate. Um, you know how it goes. All right, um, so I don't think we've got any more uh, you know, elevated rewards for the diggos today, so we're just going to place all these traps back down where we normally keep them, and uh, yeah, hope we can just catch a few random things here and there. All right, good stuff. Uh, while Spike is here and it's past eight o'clock, we'll just quickly feed him right now, and yeah, let's get to the farm. So, gonna need our farming tools for the animals, and uh, I'm gonna just bring a whole bunch of seeds which we could potentially use, uh, just in case here, and then I'm gonna also bring the scythe. Now, um, I'm focusing really on kale, carrot, and wheat, actually, I might also want to bring sugar, I think, or sugar cane, rather. Um, and really, those are the four things that we need to sort of replant um, more on the regular, right? So, grab all of these, and we do need to get the fertilizer started, but we'll come back to that. Let's grab the milk, and the vombat poos, and Grab this wool as well. Very nice. And yeah, let's check on the farm here. Ah, oh, Lord. Okay, I completely forgot about this section. And now we're missing some fertilizer here. So we're going to have to do something about that. And then there's the, um, the wheat here, which is ready. This side looks all good. Got some carrots for harvest as well. All right, um, I'm just going to quickly grab some more fertilizer. And actually, in fact, this might be a good chance for us to get some of the fertilizer going. So let's grab bones, maybe the rupus. We could also do it with vombat poos, but maybe we'll just do it with bones and rupus. And that should be enough. So do that. Just going to quickly put the bucket and the shearers away. Give us a little bit more space in the inventory. All right, and I said we needed fertilizer and I totally didn't pick it up, did I? Let's quickly grab that. Okay, 
So uh, maybe to avoid any mistakes, we should maybe do a little bit of the harvesting first here. So all of the wheat can go and we'll pick up all of these carrots as well. And yeah, we'll replant the carrots in this section. And I think maybe we'll replace the wheat with uh, kale this time around. Just because, you know, we've got a limited amount of time to plant kale. So hopefully, hopefully we can get a bit more kale going. And yeah, we'll go with carrots in this section. Good stuff. And we'll continue with the sugar in this patch. Uh, there we go. There we go. Alright, cool. I think we're all done now. And I mean, Spike is fed, so I think we don't really need to do anything else, right? So I am going to get rid of this uh, frilly because I don't like it being so close to, to Spike. There we go. Uh, yeah, that way we're just making sure that the area is safe. Uh, time to put our seeds away and we'll head into town and do what we need to do there first. Uh, anything else we need to put away? Yes, the scythe. Cool. Alright. Now, in the previous episode, we completely forgot to deal with those alpha animals, so we're going to have to attend to those today. And I think that'll be possibly the main activity of the day. Uh, and, you know, if we have enough time, we'll do stuff a little bit later on, like, you know, towards the end of the day. We could go back to the Western uh, Connection Project. Uh, it looks like I totally forgot to run the gacha machine yesterday, so let's actually get that going and, uh, yeah, hope we get something interesting for tomorrow. Um, I'm just going to leave the pink rug here. We'll sell it back to John. Uh, we should also check in with Rain when she opens to see if, uh, there's any seeds that we can buy. So Fletch wants 23 grass seeds. Interesting. Uh, that might be a little bit of a challenge. I'm not accepting it just yet. Can she accept any grass seed or does it have to be just a normal grass seed? Or grass seeds? Um, I'm not entirely sure. I'm guessing maybe it's just normal ones, not the fur grass seeds. Um, that's my guess anyway. Anyway, let's get a few things running here the milk in there and we'll continue with some more sugar grinding and time to put a few things away here so carrots go in here eggs wattle tree sorry yes wattle flowers and um, got a whole bunch of honey as well which we can put away over here and we've just picked up a couple of thunder sacks um, I'm not entirely sure while we're keeping it there. Hmm, perhaps maybe it's for the best. <laughs> uh, we'll actually grab that and... Yeah, okay, we can leave all of the, the sacks in this section. It's fine. Alright, looks good. We should actually go back and put the Rupus and Bones away. Uh, we've got plenty of meat right now so I'm just gonna quickly split that and store some more but aside from that I think we're almost ready here so perhaps maybe if we just drop in say the compactor for recharge that'll be good um, but yeah I, th I think we're ready to sort of set off here uh, before we do that let's just quickly check the greenhouse okay so We've got more carrot seeds here. We can just quickly top up the carrot seeds. 
And we'll get some more wheat seeds as well. Brilliant. Okay, cool. And uh, yeah, before we go, maybe it's also wise to check in with various people about whether or not they want stuff done for the day, so... Welcome to Threadspace. How can I help you? Let's chat. You have a job for me, Clover? Hmm, you know what? I feel like I've been wearing the same clothes for too long. Think you can find me some new clothing? Anything new in my wardrobe would be welcome. I mean... You run a clothes shop, Clover. Like, how, how is that even possible? You are basically the queen of clothes in this town. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. Alright, um, yeah, we've got business pants. We can probably give her some business pants. She'll probably give us something else in return, right? So, let's just quickly hand this over to her. Um, here you go. Ah, oh, did you find a piece of clothing? Sure I did. Um... Let's go with that. Thank you very much, Blue. I'll put in a good word for your help. Oh, I found this, you know. You can take it because you helped me out. Storage barrel. Okay, nice. Nice. Okay, I don't think we've got that recipe before, so that's interesting. Um, who else should we speak to? Maybe Franklin? See if Franklin needs anything done for the day. What is that? Copper street lamp. I think we've got that already. Let's chat. Oh, what do you want to chat about? Do you have a job for me, Franklin? Ah, actually, I have a blue flat cap I don't want anymore. Do you want to buy it? Could let it go for a thousand three hundred. Sure. Um, blue flat cap. I'm not sure if we have one. Oh, actually, yes, we do. We definitely have a blue flat cap. So uh, we'll we'll sell that off as well. Let's chat with Sally, see if she needs anything. Welcome! Can I interest you in a little trim? Nah, just wanted to chat. You know what, I feel like I've been wearing the same clothes for too long. Think you can find me some new clothing? Anything new in my wardrobe would be welcome. Perfect! We have this blue flat cap that we <laughs> don't really want anymore. So, uh, we'll give that to you. Uh, here you go. There you go. You're a bloody legend, Blue. Too bloody good, I reckon. Take this for your trouble. The purple dress. Jeez, okay. Anyone else want some new clothing today? <laughs> you can always swap the blue... Uh, sorry, the purple dress. Welcome to the Wu Yan Bank. What do you need? Oh, uh, what did you want to chat about? Do you need anything, Milburn? Hey, would it be too much trouble for you to catch a blue moon butterfly? You can usually catch blue moon butterflies in the tropics this time of year. Sure. Alright. We'll see if we can try and catch one. And, you know what, let's maybe check in with Erwin as well. And maybe we'll, we'll get the show on the road as soon as we're done with him, so... Actually, I have a green shoes I don't want anymore. Do you want to buy it? I could let it go for a thousand two hundred. Sure. Green shoes. I feel like we've never seen green shoes before, so this is actually pretty good. I'll, uh, I'll accept the green shoes. We'll drop off the purple dress right there. And yeah, I think the next order of things really is just to head into the um the farm just put a few things away and then we'll head out and uh, see if we can take out those two alpha animals all right so firstly let's put clothing away maybe just over here and we've got bones and poos to put away Forgot about this copper bar, we should have put that away. Anyway, we'll hang on to it for a little bit. Okay, so... I think we'll deal with the Alpha Bush Devil first. And once we're done with that, we'll head to uh, 
to the Alpha Croc. Actually, one thing that I did not do before we left, which I should have, is uh, I should have actually crafted a few um, a few things to to eat. I and mean, we do have some quiche, but those quiche don't exactly give you like fighting buffs, and also they they don't really restore too much of your HP. So. Maybe we just need to take a little bit of extra care while we're out here dealing with these alpha animals. Alright, good stuff. And we already found the blue moon butterfly, which is perfect. Just need to take it back to... I can't remember who, but uh, we'll figure it out later. While we're on the way, guys, I, I also just want to mention that uh, I've made a uh, sorry, I've made a slight change to some of the the way I'm recording audio for a lot of these videos. So, uh, you know, just sort of adjusted some of the setup and all that sort of stuff. So, uh, I'd be keen to know whether or not you guys think the sounds improved or whether or not it's gotten worse. Um, always up for some good feedback from people and yeah I'm, I'm especially trying to improve the sound quality of all of these videos um, and particularly trying to get rid of some of those clicking and clickety clacky noises that uh, that I'm making while actually playing the game and using the keyboard and whatnot right so um, yeah, it just really gets to me sometimes when I'm editing the videos and um, figuring out how I can actually remove some of that stuff. So, um, if any of you guys are experts at recording audio, that's even better. If you've got any advice and all that sort of stuff that I might be able to follow. Uh, but aside from that, you know, just a general, uh, you know, uh, some general feedback on whether or not the audio is improved. That would be nice as well. Alright, here we are. Uh, looks like this alpha bush devil is fast asleep, so let's rudely awaken it and uh, try and take it out. Yeah, that was a little bit close right there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I forgot that we've already taken a little bit of damage this morning. Ow. Okay. Not good. Uh, perhaps I just want to get myself to water a little bit. There we go. Very nice. A little bit of prime meat and a lovely alpha eye for for later. Can't remember what we use the alpha eyes for. Probably something with Ted. But uh, anyway, so now that the alpha bush devil is taken care of, we should make our way to the alpha croc. See if we can quickly dispatch the uh, the croc, make the town safer. I am getting a little bit worried about our uh, our HP situation, though. It is pretty low. We don't seem to really have anything else that we can eat to try and increase our our HP right now. I mean, I could head back into town and um, maybe craft something. 
and eat before we come back out here, potentially. Uh, maybe that's the safer option. Sorry guys. I think maybe what we'll do is, uh, in fact, we, we've got like plenty of food in storage, right? So we could maybe, um, you know, eat like a meat pie or something like that that's already made for us. And uh, with that meat pie also comes like the, the buff for combat. And we might be able to actually deal with that alpha croc a little bit faster. So let's go and do that. The only problem is we do need to remember that we need to come back to town before 12 o'clock to hand in all of these quests. Um, ah yes, I'm uh, after the meat pies here. Oh, we've got some spare grilled meat as well. We'll take that. Uh, meat pies, there we go. And since we're here, we may as well store a few things. Sorry guys, uh, not sure what's going on there, a bit glitchy. But uh, anyway, let's put a few of these things away. Uh, there we go, got the copper bar. Keys. Go in here. Alpha Eye. Goes here. And... Actually, a couple more pieces of junk here. Okay, cool. So, let's consume a few things. Uh, speaking of consumption, we can probably store some of the raw prime meat there. Um, and yeah, since we're here, let's drop off our last two uh, sugar cane. But yeah, let's eat this meat pie and maybe we'll top things off with uh, a couple of pieces of meat there. Okay, I think we're ready for this alpha croc. Let's go find it. Won't say no to a bit of free meat there. Hopefully we'll have enough time today to make it out to the west and continue some of the work. Uh, because, as you guys know, we've got quite a lot of work to do, so we need to try and chip at it every day as much as we can. Whoa, sorry Maggie. Ooh, and I've just realized, but this bridge over here probably needs a little bit of work as well. It doesn't have the lamp posts, and nor is it elevated, so we should actually um, do the work that's required. Okay, so, uh, let's get ready here. So we need the alpha bat and the spear. Let's, uh, let's start burning him from afar. Ooh, okay, that was a uh, hit to the face there. Uh, the HP of this alpha croc seems to be already at half. Perhaps maybe it's been fighting other things in the area. So, lucky us. Nice. That was way too easy. Bit of free crop meat here as well. Might as well. Alright, um, what do we want to do at this point? I think maybe the best course of action is to go back to the town and just hand in those alpha quests first. And once we've done that, we should be able to just go out to the west and continue the work that we've been doing. That way we don't really risk, um, you know, missing the deadline. Very good. Now time to head back to the mine. Ooh, and uh, 
I shouldn't forget that we've got that uh, that butterfly as well that we need to hand in to someone. So we should do that while we make this pit stop. Okay, here we are back in town. Uh, let's maybe just drop off a few things in the workshop first. Grab that. Chuck all of that in there. Got these alpha crocs, uh, sorry, um, crocodile teeth, alpha scales. Uh, some prime meat. And wattle flowers. croc meat here as well. Where do we keep the raw croc meat? I think, yeah, right here. Okay, good stuff. Uh, let's figure out who needs what. So, Milburn needs the butterfly. Let's see if we can find him first. Ah, well it isn't, uh, well if it isn't blue, this is for you. You've got the blue moon butterfly? I sure do. Thanks, blue. Very good. I suppose you would like a reward now. Absolutely, mate. Holiday shorts. I think we've got a pair of holiday shorts already, so uh, we'll probably just sell that off to John. So we might as well just leave it here while we have the chance. Okay, and I think John is the one that requested the uh, the Alpha Bush Devil or Alpha Croc to be taken out. Finally, the night is here. Night time is John time. I did that thing for you, John. Thank you for taking care of the Alpha Croc. Those Alpha creatures are really dangerous and can cause a lot of havoc. Here, take 27,000 as promised. Alright, brilliant. And who needed the other thing done? Clover. Where is Clover? That's Sally. Uh Clover, where is she? Is she hanging out somewhere at the farm, perhaps? Hmm, strange. Or maybe around this side, near her house. I think we need to maybe extend the, the gate a little bit more. Hmm. Yeah, if there's anything that could be improved with this game is maybe, you know, having, like, markers where some of the townies might be in would be really, really useful. There she is. Okay, she's been escaping crocs, it seems. Can I help you, Blue? I completed your request. Thank you for taking care of the Alpha Bush Devil. Those Alpha creatures are really dangerous and can cause a lot of havoc. Here, take 33,000 as promised. Thanks for keeping Wu Yan safe for everyone, Blue. Very nice. Alright. So, uh, next. I think we should perhaps maybe go back to the farm, first and foremost. And we'll just, um, drop a few things off. And uh, then we can set out to the west and continue some of the work that we've been doing over that side. So again, another quick pit stop. All right. Um, what do we have here? Seeds. There we go. Cool. I think we're ready to go. Uh, just checking on the food situation. We only have 
one item to eat. So perhaps it might be a good idea just to to bring ourselves a few other things to eat here. We might actually quickly grill these apples just to increase their effectiveness a little bit. Alright, good stuff. Cool, so I think maybe we'll head into town again and uh, actually use the teleporter and teleport to the west. So leave that there and we'll just quickly fly to the teleporter and yeah hopefully we can use the entire charge of the soil printer uh, this time around and uh, yeah that way we can sort of come in the morning back to the workshop and then recharge it. I think it takes like half the day or something like that to recharge the uh, soil printer. So hopefully we can then go at it again tomorrow. But anyway, let's get the work done. So I think yesterday we were starting to extend things from the actual western island itself, right? So maybe we should actually continue that work this time around. So from here. Looking pretty decent. Uh, let's just quickly check the map again here. Yeah, so that's going to come down like so. Uh, we want more coming in from this side. So, in fact, we're going to have to sort of surround the tower with a little bit more sand. That's not such a bad thing, though, I don't think. So... Okay, getting very close here. Just want to be a little bit careful. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's enough. <laughs> Don't want to risk it. Okay, it is well 11:45. We've got like 15 real life seconds <laughs> to <laughs> to do a little bit more work. Maybe we'll just quickly move some of this soil. There we go. All right. Yeah, not looking too bad. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure how we'll sort of adjust the island. Um, I'm, I'm definitely keen on making it a little bit thicker. We'll have to get one of the other types of biomes to sort of be put into the center and then we can sort of print more of the same type of soil in that general vicinity. Um, but anyway, hopefully it'll all work out in the end. Yeah, today's been kind of an interesting day. Uh, we did get a few things done. We completed a few people's requests, improved a whole bunch of our relations with various people. But I think it's Ted who I really, really want to improve relations with. And uh, yeah, we didn't really get to meet Ted today, did we? Uh, it's always a little bit hit and miss. But uh, anyway, yeah, productive day. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, dislike, or a comment or two down below. Stay true, and I'll see you guys in the next one.